Hey everybody, Sagittarius 998, and I'm here. And the next part of our South American Beginners Guide is Uruguay. Uruguay, um, quite a small country, and very similar to its neighbors in those respective climates. So, this part of Argentina is going to be similar to Uruguay, same thing with Brazil. It's all very similar. Uruguay in general, everywhere kind of looks the same. Um, in terms of street view, you will see it's covered everywhere. Obviously, more to the south, there's more stuff there. More cities, more developed, and so on. The north is a little bit more sparsely populated. And in terms of terrain, you will see it's, um, it's very flat. There are, there's a little bit of stuff in here. Although, actually, the highest point in Uruguay, I believe, is up in the north somewhere. But it's, it's only like 300 meters at most, I think. Maybe it's up in here, probably. So, uh, Uruguay's terrain is very, very flat in general. Very similar. So, really, it, you... If you're placed in Uruguay, um, you won't find anything um, specific um, in terms of terrain. You just you have to figure out the road number. So... With that, let's jump into the challenge. Again, curated by Nighty, and again, I'm Retro Geogesser, so I have to avoid this. Yes, it's the 10, but uh, it's not. Well, it, might, it is, but uh, I have to pretend I don't know yet. So, again, this is what all of Uruguay looks like. So, it's, it's irrelevant to look at the landscape, really. Other than, yeah, sure, you can tell it's, the landscape is temperate. So, it's going to be either southern Brazil... Argentina, northern Argentina, because it's not a desert, so northern Argentina, southern Brazil, or Uruguay, which leads to the same conclusion. Now, how can you tell it's not Brazil? Well, that's language, but um, furthermore, how can you tell it's Uruguay? Well, this, for one. There's a sign, which is now blurred out. Uh, well, I'll take the other one then. Hopefully it's not blurred out. It's not, so... Argentina in, it uses similar road conventions. However, Uruguay uses green. Not only does Uruguay use green, they also use this, green and white kilometer markers, which Argentina does not. Argentina uses black and white, and they're completely different. They have the wrap number on them. We'll see that when we get to Argentina. But here we have... Um, Uruguayan kilometer marker and this. This is dead perfect for, for Uruguay. We know that we're in Uruguay at this point and then, you know, the, the roads are pretty well visible. We're on the 10. We don't see the 10, but we see Rocha, which is on here. You can zoom to Rocha and then there's a 10 right there. So, Rapidre La Paloma is closer to the west. So that means um, I'm in here somewhere. Yeah, because I remember Polonio was there. On this side it said Polonio. Cabo Polonio is 17. So there's Cabo Polonio. So I'm between Cabo Polonio and... So I'm in here. You know, and I'm going to say that's good enough. Because at this point it's just pinpointing. It, it doesn't matter whether you're in, in Uruguay or in, in the U.S. It's just pinpointing. I mean, that's not... Yeah, two kilometers off. Sure, I could have pinpointed that better, but... I don't think it's it's necessarily worth the, the time right now. So, this one, ignore the route number, and we can go this way, because there's something, it's either a toll or a border. Parque Bartolome Higaldo is not going to be helpful. So, it is a toll, it looks like, or a border. I'm not sure. There's a weird, creepy monument here. I guess it's not creepy from this angle. From the other one, though, it was. So this appears to be a toll, uh, not a, a border crossing. I'm not... I guess I'm just not used to tolls on two-lane roads. But, okay. So, we have a government sign that says Uruguay on it. So now we know we're in Uruguay. I didn't mean... Yeah, we knew. Uh, so, Servicio de Ruta 3. So we're on Road 3, towards Route 24, perhaps. Road 3 cuts through the country, north-south, I believe. Yes, it does. 30. Where is 24? 
26, 24. So we're somewhere in here, perhaps. There's a river. In addition to, yeah, Paha, so it is a toll. Soriano, Limita Departamental, and it's the Rio Negro. Which is possibly here. That's not it. Again, you see that shape that you see in Uruguay often. Concordia. This could be the Rio Negro. It's not. Theoretically, any of these could be. But it's not. You're looking at the 24. Maybe we're on this side. Well, that's the Rio Negro department. I mean, that's the Rio Negro. There's the toll booth. There's Parque Hidalgo. So, uh, there, sure. Again, similar landscape ever. Similar landscape. It does differ a little bit. This one's a little flatter, a little greener than the other one, but a lot of that just has to do with what camera was used. It's not... It's not a perfect indicator. However, what you can tell is that the road surface is a little bit worse condition. Now, I'm not, this isn't trying to be offensive to Uruguay, but in general I have found that roads in Uruguay are a little bit worse condition than they are in Argentina and Brazil. Or maybe they have just slightly different markers, they tend to not have shoulders, so on. So that can be a clue for, Argent for Uruguay, but really it's just, you know, go, you'll find a road sign anyway or the green kilometer marker, either one of those is, is a pinpointer for Uruguay. You won't get Uruguay either very often because it's not that big. But when you do, it's it's never really hard to figure out it's Uruguay. I mean, unless you're doing a three challenge maybe, but if you're doing a two challenge, it's it's rare that, that you would have trouble figuring out Uruguay. So now, this. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there, there's not much in, the, in either direction here, but I'm just going to continue in this direction and see. If not, then I will turn around. Okay. I suspect I'm sort of in the middle of nowhere, um, because, you know, it, and it does look cool, which is probably why Nighty selected this. So it might be a little difficult. I see, yes, I know it says around the four, but I'm ignoring that. And then we come to this. There is a sign. Artigas, Artigas is in 63, so, yeah, that doesn't tell us you're right, but we know in this case it is. We can look for Artigas. And see if it shows up. Zoom in one more. There's Artigas. So, we're south of Artigas by 63 kilometers, um, which is, uh, I have no idea, here? No, because that, it's probably here. I'm going to make the guess. 8 kilometers off. The other direction would have sent me to Campamento. So, yeah, again, right idea, uh, you know, it just showed up. And then uh, around 4, we're in a city this time. Municipio San Genero de Polanco. Look for that. But that's not really what what the point of this is. But you know, landscape-wise, again, everything looks the same. It's sort of flat, much like Argentina. The buildings are very much like Argentina. That's very blue. Almost a little obnoxiously blue. It's actually a church, a Baptist church. Um, but you know, you just need to look for for signs. Somewhere it will say Uruguay if you're in a city. You know, it, it will say 
certainly you've got already you've got street names. We'll find the city name somewhere, and then eventually, likely, it will point you to Uruguay. Okay, so one thing here, ANCOP. I'm not sure if this is a government uh, gas station. However, in Argentina, the gas station is called YPS, standing for who knows what, but it's YPS. So if you see YPF, you're in Argentina. If you see BR for Petrobras, you're in Brazil, Brazilian Petroleum. So YPF and, and BR are great because you know that you're in those countries. So if you see ANCOP, you know you can't because it's a, it's a monopoly. So you can't be in Argentina or Brazil. You have the landscape of Argentina and Brazil. I mean, you know you're going to be in Brazil because of the, the uh, road signs. So you know you're in Uruguay at this point. It's just certain things you, you kind of have to, eventually you'll figure out. You know, like these signs, these signs are very Argentinian, but you can, this rolls out Argentina, so it's Uruguay. And then it's San Genero de Polanco, or whatever it is, uh, which we saw at the beginning. And Real Artigas is the, the street name. Actually, it's not, but maybe it is the town name. We'll see. So there's government signs. Uh, this indicates that there's a beach nearby, perhaps. It's talking about beach erosion. Uh, and that's just an ad for LT. So the step will be to leave the town or see some sort of um, markers towards you know, whatever it may be. Something that will just help you narrow this down and find the city. Beach is certainly a big clue. Enough so that I... Hold on. Cabo Polonio. Colonia. I'm just scanning along the, uh, the coast. It's no longer the coast, so I'm going to move on and hopefully find the city name somewhere visible. Um, I'm not sure how to interpret that map, so I'm going to skip it. This might be a dead-end route. Perhaps not. There's water to the west. Now, hold on. Water to the west. It's a lake. Is it here? San Gregorio de Polanco. It is. Wow. Okay. So I started on... Um, does it say? It doesn't say. The other ones said it in the other direction. I think. It's not at this block, apparently. It's a E something. Hey, Gamba? What is this road? This is... It is north-south. Doctor Gamba. Okay, so it's Gamba. Eh, we're somewhere along Gamba. Further north. Yeah, sure. Okay, and finally, same landscape. You see, all landscapes in Uruguay are pretty much identical. I mean, you'll see different vegetation if you're close to the coast and whatever, but... Ultimately, there's not much shift in terrain or landscape. You just kind of, you know, you just look for the road signs, as I've said before. Okay. A little bit of lag. Maybe now it's going to load. Hopefully. Yeah, there's a little bit of, of uh, some hills, and, and there's a lot of rolling hills in Uruguay. As much as it is flat, there is some terrain, var it's not totally flat, there is some terrain variation, so that has to be kept in mind. Um, and there's more hills in this part, um, in this part, in here, you actually don't see it, but it's a, up, I think in here it's a little bit more hilly, as well as the northwest. But it's very, very small hills, to be honest. So, Ruta Nacional 12. We have now found out we're on the 12. 
which I don't see, so it's actually there. Talking about rolling hills, perhaps. The, uh, the 12's not very big, either. Okay, 23 to 33 kilometers. So how can you tell it's not the Argentinian National Route 12? Um, a blurry sign will certainly not help that. There we go. There really isn't any. Um, I mean, that's not signs that I've seen in Argentina, is all I can say, but ultimately there's not really a, a great way to, to tell that. So, to narrow it further down, you would look for the um, names of the, any cities. Looking for road signs would be the next step and see at what town I'm going to. Am I going to Tala or is Tala in the other direction? I'm going to go a little bit and see if I find any of those. If not, then I'm going to guess. I mean, I'm comfortable with this guess, I think, in any case, I've shown well what there is to see in Uruguay in terms of being successful at Uruguayan guesses. So I'm not too concerned with getting this one down pat. You know, just within a couple of kilometers. If I'm on the wrong section, well, I'm on the wrong section. That's a sign. I think it's a const yeah construction. Yeah. So ultimately, this um, I'm go with that. Oh no no no! The twelve apparently escaped. Pro yeah, it does. It follows. Is it disjoint? It appears to be disjoint. Well, okay, that's unfortunate. Um, I just didn't see that it was disjoint, but... So in that case, you know, I wouldn't go further. If I had I realized that, I obviously would have gone further. But in any case, you see, the landscapes are similar everywhere in Uruguay. I guess on the complete opposite side of the country, and the landscape here, which we saw before, is the same as the whole country. So with Uruguay, you you got to look for, for what city you're going to, what road number you're on, and then you're, you're fine. So, yeah, 27, 78, 7, 78, because of the Yeah, it, it was a nice challenge from me. Thank you, Marie, for sending it in, and hopefully this was um, educational so that you can do better at Uruguay and GeoGuessr in the future. And until next time, see you.